Let me just briefly reflect on that. Um, if you know Luke at all, you will know that he, he has a very strong emphasis um, on justice and the poor. Um, and so he actually, just let me remind you, he said, St. Matthew says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. He says, Blessed are the poor. And so I'd like to suggest to you that probably Luke was the first communist um, and understood how communities should operate. For me, it's also interesting that Luke does not differentiate between healing and teaching and empowerment. We're, we're not, in actual fact, individuals who work in silos. So this is my academic bit. This is my material bit. This is my physical bit. They all are meant to integrate into congruence. My mind is meant to inform what my eyes see. Now we come to the memorial and the celebration of those. There's another part of scripture which says, greater love has no one than this, that, that they lay down their lives for their friends. And we come into this space to remember those who have laid down their lives. In the early 1960s, there was a terrible event that happened in this country. There were people who were basically shot in the back because they protested against the disaster of discrimination because of race. You'll remember that. Marikana heralded for me the new discrimination that we have to suffer with as a country. And that is the discrimination between the haves and the have-nots. It's a new apartheid. It goes way, way back in history. But let me just say to you, and let me now speak as a religious person, we are not going to get away with greed. We're not going to get away with corruption. And so as we remember these people, let us not remember them as we remember statues. Because they actually said no to inequality. They actually said no to the violence that there is in poverty. That's in actual fact what this day is about. And it heralds the beginning of the bigger struggle that we have in this country, the struggle for justice. Mm -hmm.